Continuing with our series of controls, we are going to work on a new one. For this, we already know our methodology. What we will do is duplicate this page and proceed to change the name. This one will be called Advanced Filter. Perfect. We will remove the control we had in the previous class and work with this new control, which I can tell you is very similar to the one we studied in the last class. Let's go to the part to add a control and select the one called Advanced Filter. First of all, we will change the control field, where we will continue working with the dimension of country. We will keep working with country because it is a dimension that has a series of values that allow us to easily view the information and the modifications that are made. At the beginning of the class, I mentioned that this control is very similar to the one we saw in the last class. But what is the difference between the two? Remember that in the previous one, we had to select the search type from the chart configuration. However, in this new control, we can make that change directly from the control and not from its configuration. What would be the advantage of using this control instead of the one we saw in the last class? When you are presenting or sharing a report and it is in view mode, the person or people viewing the report will be able to filter directly from here since they will not have editor permissions and therefore will not have access to its configurations. So I will first select equals as the search type and type Canada again. And as in the last class, it shows me the views of Canada. Now I can change the search type to contains, and I will simply write nada to see what happens. It will only show me the information for Canada, because Canada is the only country that contains this series of characters. As you can see, it works the same way as the control we saw in the last class. Its search types are the same and serve the same purpose. Let's enter view mode, so the report is displayed as if a person without editing permissions were viewing it, or as if we were presenting the report. In view mode, I can make the same selection of search types. I will select in and take the example of the two countries, Colombia and Canada. Now, if we look at the map, you can see that it is functioning correctly. It is not necessary for us to have editing or administrator permissions, as in the previous filter, where we had to change the configuration. The use we give to one or the other will depend on how you want the user experience in the report to be, whether you want the user to have control to select the search type or if you want to assign a predefined search type. See you in the next class.